Hi everyone. My name is Alyssa. This is a spiritual lifestyle journey video, mostly about the crime against me, my twin flame, Shia. This is part four of five in part 24. I'm making this video um, on a Tuesday, but it's because I really had to tell some things to Shia because tend to, things tend to get diffused when I tell him something happens. Uh, and I'm hoping that, Shia, that happens to you. When you watch it, things diffuse for you. And I, I have a feeling it does. So I made another cup of coffee. I have one, two, two more pages. But, by the way, uh, I don't want to, I'm not going to start off with that, no. Let's see if there's some photos that I screenshot. Remember, I can't just freely talk to you. They'll start taking over. And I'll turn into some kind of robot. Okay, so I don't think you can read because I'm seeing the way it's written on the screen. It looks like it's backwards. So knots in the body are malicious. It is a malicious blow that is expelled by the causality, the gin in the body of the victim, which forms vapors that turn into solid fossilized substances in the body of the injured person resulting in pain. These knots protect the jinn in the body of the injured and relieve him from the effect of the rakya and they serve as fortresses and shields for the causality to protect themselves in the body. So that's why I thought how the hell can these jinns live in a Lumerian? How is that possible? Not. Oh. I still have to put olive oil. I don't really like getting getting out of the bath and putting olive oil all over myself. The thing is, when I get into like a attack that feels so lethal, I'll do anything. And that's what happened. I almost got a stroke a couple weeks ago, and then I told you um, I did the olive oil on my body. I did that after I almost got a stroke. But the thing with this treadmill walking, not the thing is, with this treadmill walking, I feel like I'm in better health with the stroke problem. Um, however, it could be. It, them tricking me into thinking, oh, you're all set, you're fine, and then doing other things in order to make me have the ability to have a stroke. So let's move on to the notes again. Hold on, let's go on the phone. Oh, I sent an email that I want to read to you. I sent an email to myself. No, I don't want to read. Oh. This is something that I'm trying to say. The Lord is my refuge. I don't really have a strong connection to the Ascended Master Jesus. I think there's a block. I have a lot of problems with like male and female and calling God a guy. It could be mind control. I am blocked from understanding any history. Um, 
Jesus was an ascended master. Um, but there's a lot of Christians that are demons. There's a lot of demons that are pretending to be Christians. So, a lot of, there's a lot of church churches that are, are bad. What did I want to say about that? So, in your past life, when we were um, living in Colorado, K-R-O-E, K Kroger, you were, we were in Europe, not Europe, Turkey, I think we, we were Turkish, I don't know, anyways, you were in prison for five years, and Hannah had four kids, three or four kids that she had to raise and she was poor raising them while you were in prison. That's torture. She didn't even know when you were going to get out. Maybe she had spirit guides. Someone just told me. Um, but that's torture. And I have a feel, I kind of feel like that sort of came into this lifetime with you not being even able to to talk or see me, me see you, that's torture. And I try to really like act like it's not a big, like I really act, don't show that it's painful, but it's painful. I have such a strong telepathic connection with you though that it kind of, it helps a lot. It doesn't make it hurt as much. So the neck is still pulled. Uh, it hurts just to go like that. It's a little better in this moment, but I'm still getting the stiff neck that they're pulling my neck, and I'm catch still catching myself, clench, just kind of pulling. They're pulling my. Oh, I woke up at 2 a.m. last night, or 2 a.m. the night before, and, and look, they go like this. They slammed. They went. Uh, they went eh, like that to try to snap my neck and paralyze me. I literally woke up at 2 a.m. doing jolting my neck. I don't know if I should, I should, might have to wear a neck brace at night time. But when I talked to the nurse on the internet, no, uh, when I talked to Sharpree Seeley, the, the nurse, about my neck problem, before I saw the doctor, I had to talk to the nurse to see if they wanted to take me in to see me. Well, they actually got me, me in right away the next day. But he said it was mus it's musculature, it's the muscle that's pulled. But when you wear the neck brace, it weakens your neck. However, if I have a gins in my neck and they're like going crazy with it, I might have to get a neck brace. Especially at nighttime when I don't, when it could go crazy and I don't even know. Because I was 2 a.m., I woke up and I literally, what, they literally took my neck, went, and that scared me. That scared me. Could they have been doing that and then that woke me up and then I, I caught them doing it? So I might, I might, it's only like $20 to get a neck brace. I might get a neck brace. I don't know yet. We'll see what the Lemurians say. Um, I showed you See how this says avoid tolls and it was turned off? DW turned off my tolls and when I was map questing how to get from somewhere at a Walmart probably, I was waiting for my dental appointment and then I had two hours before the appointment. They make me get up at like 6 a.m. and I was, this is like a routine where I'm, I cannot be in this room. I have to go and sit and wait for the appointment. Or I went to Walmart planning to just browse Walmart, but I was getting so attacked I had to leave Walmart. And then so I had two hours to spare. So I'm like, okay, I'll go to a different Walmart because I forgot something that I needed. And the person, uh, DW, 
turned off my avoid tools, I was literally several feet away from turning, and then I saw tolls highway. If I and I if I didn't see toll highway, I would have had to uh, have I wouldn't didn't have enough I didn't have cash on me, and that's like an extreme stressor. I've gotten massive panic attacks going through tolls and not having money, and that would have been a serious attack if that went if that went through. So this person has repeatedly taken off my avoid tolls no notification throughout the years of me traveling, and I have gotten a couple tickets from that happening. This person uh, has switched my maps, my map direction, so I'd be like getting lost in the middle of nowhere. That's happened out as well while traveling. And this person has repeatedly told me, we are actually, when I'm using Google Maps, we're leading you to the murderer who's waiting to kill you. That's been told to me repeatedly, many, many times. That avoid tools does not turn off. It doesn't turn off on its own. I've spent probably a year and a half in that, and no, it has happened. The avoid tools happened a few times this year, turning off. And also, another word to say that I've tried to say is uh, Bismillah. Bismillah. They make me ha say, say it funny. Bismillah. Bismillah. I don't know how to... I can't say it. I, I don't know if it's even me saying Bismillah. Bismillah. I don't even know if that's my voice the way I'm saying it the tone. But Bismillah means... They're blocking my brain from knowing... In Allah's name, in Allah's name, A-L-L-A-H. I don't know if I completely love Allah, the name Allah, because my initials start with A-L, but it's kind of like Alyssa and Shia, Allah. Um, I thought of that once. But that's like, I don't want, really want to resonate our names with Allah. I just don't know, I don't know why I can't really connect with Allah. Allah. I can't connect with it yet. I can't connect with Jesus either. But you know, they almost made me not, you can't even, you can't, connect with Jesus because he's a man and you'd be sexually you're you sexually attracted to Jesus because he's a man like, like you don't know how, like the amount of things that they say to me and all the stuff I had to stay away from all police all fire all authorities because I would be immediately tra sexually attracted to every single one of them stay away from those police people Not sexually attracted. The gins in my body and the mind control and the AI would make me uh, feel like um, some kind of sexual harassment. I was being sexually harassed. I was being sexually harassed. It wasn't the other way around. If I saw strangers in the public, like it would immediately, like they'd turn into like, I, I can't even explain to you right now and they're trying to like make it like a, you're gonna get attacked for what I said. I'm not sexually attracted to any authorities. What they did with, to me was, they tried to make do like some kind of a, attraction thing, like they're really good looking, so I had to be intimidated and feel like I liked them. But I never did like them, and it was AI, and it was, it ha I know what happens to you. <clears throat> what else? Let's go back to the notes now, or actually, let's go to the pendulum. But no, they they they've tried to keep me very isolated with uh, people. Um, very very isolated. 
I mean, I, it, when I was filing like police reports and doing the restraining order, they were doing that to me. They were trying to do that to me then. Like, no, you're attracted to all these uh, cops and all these people, c cops you're talking on the phone. Get away from all of them. You're, you, I'm attacking them sexually. No. It's all, it's all a lie. I've been sexually harassed with my mother, making me walk around, forcing me to think that everybody's looking at my butt when I walk by. I had to squeeze my butt. I don't even remember. And then they'd make me always, they, they also, in middle school, if I had my period, I had to constantly check to see if I had blood in my shorts or pants. And then high school, like chronically, they did that, used AI too to make me feel like I was going to walk around with blood all over my pants. What about that? So, um, they're going to try to pop a message in my head before I could even think. Um, we have, we're very, I'm very clean. Uh, I keep this room very clean. This apartment, very clean. Um, I don't know what to say about that. It landed on cleanliness. We're very clean people. And that this stuff is very dirty, what's happening to us. Murder is very dirty. Um, and the other one, financial support. Um, and if, if we have to, we can take out a loan. If we have to, if we have to get, make a baby very quickly, we can take out a loan. I thought of that. Um, I don't have the best credit. They did that to me. However, um, I think that uh, they're constantly making fun of me now with money. Like, oh, we're both poor. We're not going to uh, make it. We're not going to be able to do any <clears throat> trials against them because we're too poor. That's a bunch of bullshit. Uh, the only reason why I haven't been able to take anybody to jail is because I don't have a single s one person to be able to defend me. I need my twin flame, Yushaya, to defend me and to help me because I'm so controlled and everything. And you need me to help you. So with the... Um, so what about that? So... Um, no, not so. Um, it's really funny that this old pedophile is trying to intimidate me because I'm poor and this dude's... We're like the, the poor little children. You're old fucking pedophile, dude. Get out of here. Fucking raping our asses and our private parts for five years, 20 years, whatever. I know, I know you've, been getting, you've been getting abused by this person as long as me. As long as this person has known me. Why even live if you have to do that to someone every day? That shit's fucking dirty. That's, that's, that's not a fetish and that's not a drug addiction. That's not, it's like not even beyond, it's beyond evil, it's beyond crime. It's fucking disgusting. Like he's got a, like a part-time job torturing our fucking private parts. He's like, he's like half, he's retired now. Just focusing on rape, torturing me and you. What a life. That's fucking shit's filthy. That is fucking filthy. It's worse than rape. Being forced to masturbate. It's fucking worse than rape. And I was told that this dude, not dude, this is all, that's AI this dude and they, they do that they call make me they force me to call they, they force me to think the telepathic support is calling him dude and buddy and pal all I have to say is no future existence
paradise for me and Shia soon. This dude has no future existed. This, this criminal named D.W. And I keep calling this person. That's AI. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't call this him this person all the time. Or I'm just. I don't know about that. But no, this person has no. This D.W. Uh, has no future existence. That's worse than getting locked up for the rest of your life or getting um, death penalty. No future existence. So me and. My twin flame. Paradise soon. <clears throat> yeah, someone's someone's listening right now. Try trying to no. Um, I just think this this is not working. So we have 20, 10 more minutes, so let me go back to this. The Psalms. Oh yeah, when I when that person I met at the elevator that told me to read this recite the Psalms, P-S-A-L-M-S. -S. Sometimes I feel like you can't understand the words I'm saying in these videos. Because I have a high-pitched voice. But he said, I will. I guarantee Satan will leave you alone. Because I told him, Satan's attacking me. When he said, how are you? I said, Satan's attacking me. I'm getting a little bit very honest now. Because I want people to like be, I want to push them away. I want them to know, yeah, I know what's going on now. And I probably know that you know what's going on. So I'm not going to fucking pretend <laughs> that nothing's going on anymore. And I feel like if I just tell them, yeah, people are trying to kill me. It kind of like diffuses it, like, right, so stop trying to kill me, other people killing me kind of thing. But he said, I guarantee Satan will leave you. And I did, when I when I recited the Psalms, I got like a, a chills, and I think I am getting some protection from saying them. No, we're not gonna. Uh, so I think the gins they say give the gins messages to say to us. Oh, so they repeat it over and over and over. I'm not even gonna mention this because this is gonna annoy you. Oh, well, they kept on making fun of me about the clone's wife and the child, clone child. And telepathic supporter says, Alyssa and Shia have eternal life. You don't. That's your no that's your problem. That's not Alyssa and Shia's problem. That you don't have eternal life. Telepathic supporter says that all three men that has had their DNA stolen are going to try to get the judge to give her death penalty. I am not very, I don't know a lot about crime, I don't do a lot of research about it, and those uh, 15 years, from 24 to about 32, I had no chance of thinking that this cyber hacker would ever get caught. The amount of mind control and possession and the mind of, the, and the way that it was being, it was happening. I didn't think I had a chance of ever, this person ever getting caught. And I was so possessed that I, anytime I would try to collect evidence, ripped up, delete, 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 every single time. And they'd, they'd make me think that it was me doing it and it was them. And remember I showed you that the video with my mother's, um, my video with my mother and she's standing in the doorway going, hi David, to me, because this, they, they like are in me watching, like talking to each other in my head. That's fucking weird. That's sketchy. And my mom did some kind of partial possession. 
That's why there's so much of her coming out of me. She did some kind of partial possession. Where like I was like sh I was part I was her. Excuse me. But the these two with the amount of torture that we've gotten, they don't they don't deserve to be alive. They're not supposed to be alive. They're not supposed to be alive. People are also taking People also t talking to say say things to them that they wanted Alyssa to say. So I'd be like walking around, whatever, like in my day to day life over the course of thirty seven years. Uh, pe people who were possessing me, the jinns, or any any people besides. You know, there was others. They would control me, talk, make me say things to people that they were saying. Like my mo my mother would make me say things to people, and I wasn't even saying it. I've already explained that to you. I can't completely explain it that much right now. Um, a telepathic supporter told me that you love it so much that we're one soul, and I, I love it so much. I've seen, um, excuse me, they're giving me very bad gas, painful gas. I've seen photos of Hannah, and I see you, I see my twin flame, you Shia, in her face. Like some of the expressions and stuff. So we're more like connected than we think. Yeah, so they were jolting and snapping my neck. 2 a.m. I woke up to it, to them doing that. So they, they're they're doing they're working around around 24/7. They don't just do this to us when we wake up. But um, to go to the bathroom again. Actually, there's three minutes. I'm going to continue and then go to the bathroom. But if you, I, I, I'm, I'm also want to get more talking about that you can't take what's going on. You can't take it. And you're having highs and lows when sometimes you can't take it. Um, I've had about a week of um, being able to not let things bother me, so I'm assuming that things are not bothering you, but honestly, that's not true. <laughs> that's a lie. Things have been bothering me, and they're bloating my stomach so much to make me feel fat and ugly. Um, I don't know what's going on, but... You know, you'd think if you worked out on the treadmill, you'd be losing weight. And I can say my arms have gotten center, but they're making my stomach really bloated. And right now, they're giving me very painful gas. But you can't take it. You can't take it because what has happened to you is worse than what's happened to me. Even though. I don't know. I think that I think we've actually died and died, we have died in our bodies and came back to life, and we've saved each other by me living in your body and you living in my body when we're traveling to each other. Um, I believe. Ooh, scare me. There's still massive miscommunication. There's still a lot of miscommunication. 
Um, I, I think if you can't take it, when you can't take it, you have to know that uh, thing, honestly, I think that there's going to be some kind of spiritual ascension that's going to make it so that your DNA did not get used. And the thing is, because I had to watch the whole thing, we can't, like, it's just, I had to watch the whole thing occur while I waited for you. That alone would make it so that there's no way we can ha be a part of that child's life because of what happened and how it happened. I I'm not one to like, okay, like, I'm not like that. But the thing is, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes. And if that happened to me, there's no way I would be a part of that child's life. And I would feel murderous feelings towards that person who did that to me, if someone ever did that to me. And it's not possible, because I'm a woman, but it's possible for you because of what happened. So, um, the fact that it, the way it occurred, there's, it's not possible for us to um, be a part of the, the child's life because of how it occurred, because of the way it was a crime. And I'm very, very pro-abortion. I've never, never been, I think, I think it's a crime to force a woman to have a pregnancy. And I don't think that occurred at all. And it's going to probably be used in the, to try to make her get out of it. <laughs> no. She had 20 years of, of being with that clone. Or 10 or 15, 20 years. I don't know, it was back in 20... I don't remember the date right now. 2010, 2012 is when the, that they started to be together. He, he, she was using your DNA and your name and identity, part part of your name, part of your identity. So she had all that time to do that. There's no way that was an accident. No way. No way. So, if you can't take it, just remember that we're, we're twin flames and I'm going to be with you no matter what. Well, I know myself. I know that you wouldn't want to hurt me. And you wouldn't do anything that would want to hurt me and that would want to pu push me away from you. They keep doing that over and over and over. It's not me raising my eyebrows. So you would never, they just did it again, you would never hurt me and I would never hurt you. We're Lumerians. Um, there's a lot to be said about it, but like I told you, I can't just like say things to you. It's like, a, sometimes, like my brain is like blank. Like, the, my brain, a lot of times, it's just blank. There's nothing there. There's just, like, uh, gins attacking, and my telepathic support is responding. A lot of times, it's just blank. And after I got those strokes, there was times where I had no thoughts. Like, it was, like, dead. My brain was, like, dead. But she didn't get, she didn't get my twin flame's face and body. Because that, I saw the parent post the photo above his head and that was the one that was used. That's not my twin flame, it's body or face completely. Part, like little parts of it. And I don't know what the other, uh, I don't know what the other DNA it's meant to look like, so I can't, I, I, that also worries me. Because it, I, I can't, I can't, no, but if there's 
of the mother, 50% of the father, and three, so within the 50%, there's three men. So it's, I mean, I'm, try, I'm trying to be positive as much as I can some, most of the time. Oh, my stomach hurts a lot. Oh, 35 minutes. Okay, let's do part five. I'll talk to you. Everyone, thank you for listening. I'll talk to you in part five.